Hello friends, welcome to part 11 of shopping cart using Blazor server. In our previous video, we have seen the entire login, registration and my cart pages. So in this part, we are going to focus mainly on the checkout process. So let's go to our coding. In this my cart dot razor in our user panel, we have this checkout click. So here we are going to write the entire code for checkout process. But before that, let's create the tables required for storing the order and order details uh, which will be saved as part of the checkout process so we have this customer table and for each customer we have all the details so customer is going to log in and place the order so we'll have to create one table called customer order so let's create that table so we have this pretty simple customer order table and let's make the primary key so we have the id customer id order number which is a nine digit nine digit number then payment mode shipping address shipping charges subtotal and total and the shipping status and the table i created on and updated on so let's let's create this table okay now this is the customer order for example one customer is placing some order the, all the details it's for one order there will be one record okay now like one order can have multiple products for example i can have this like i can add these two as well and go ahead three products so this single order is having multiple products so we will have one more table for order details so let's create that table let's uh, delete this and write the script for order details So here I have the table order detail. Let's make the primary key. So I have the order ID, product ID, quantity, price, subtotal, and these two records created on and updated on. So let me execute it. So here I have now two tables. Let me refresh the tables. I have two tables like customer order and order detail. So customer will place the customer order, will place the order, and the record will be saved in customer order table and the number of products in the order will have the records in order detail table okay so let me update the schema in our so here i have it let me press enter build succeeded and let me comment the warning and those connection string so here i have it so now if i go in this data models i have two tables customer order and order detail these two classes are there now in this my dot razor on this checkout click it currently it's empty so i'll have to write the code to actually save the orders so let me write that okay so here i have it in this checkout click i have this my cart if that is null or the count is zero then there's none, nothing to check out okay then in this my cart it's a list okay this my cart is a list of cart model so in the first record only for the first record i am adding the address and shipping charges total and payment mode because these are nothing but only single record will be there if there are 10 products then even for the 10 products then they won't have different 10 shipping charges or shipping address so these are one record so for the first uh, first object itself i am creating just adding these records then i'm checking whether the user is logged in or not so if the user is logged in then i'm setting the user id i'm getting the value from the session that user key okay and i'm adding this so i have the user id payment mode subtotal shipping charges and address being stored in the first record of the list okay so till here it's pretty simple then i'm updating the cart again this my cart session object is there right so i'm updating the cart with all these details okay then i'm checking with is user logged in so let me add this flag over here it's a boolean flag so here if i go on this register not here if i go on this main layout i have a similar flag is user logged in so let me copy that and paste it here okay so this flag is true if the user is logged in okay so i'm getting calling this method is user logged in we have created it 
this method in our previous tutorial and here if it is logged in then I am allowing the user to check out if it is not logged in then I am setting this checkout alert we have already created this uh, checkout alert session and I am setting this checkout alert as note login register to place your order this is the value and I am redirecting the user to login page that means before checkout he has to log in or he has to register so I'm I'm suppose I'm assuming that the user is not logged in so I'm redirecting the user to login page if the user is log logged in then I'm simply calling the checkout method in our user panel service and passing the list of my my card that is a list of cart model okay so let me create this checkout method in this user panel service so it's a simple post method and calling this api user checkout and passing the entire list as a post okay posting it to the api so let me add that in our interface as well okay so let's go to the mycart.razor here if the response if everything is is fine the checkout has been done successfully then i am clearing the cart i don't want anything in my cart now because the order has been placed and i am setting the uh, my cart as empty again and then i'm setting one more session latest order okay so whatever response i'm getting based on the response the message contains the latest order number okay so that order number i'm pulling it from the response and updating the updating the main dot layout invoking that event callback because i want the i want this cart this number three uh, uh, over here to be empty okay and then i'm forcing the user to navigate to my account with the latest order to be displayed okay so that he can see what is there in the order so this is pretty simple now let's add the code in our api so we have this user controller let's add the code to receive the checkout object so here i have the checkout and now we have to create the checkout method the final checkout method in our final logic layer so let's go here and put this here so here i have created this method let me put the syntax back in the interface so in the user service what i have is it's a simple i am getting this cart items from the cart item i am getting the detail okay the first first dot default first record from there are many records from the first record i am getting the details and then i am assigning it to the odd user this customer table i am assigning it the payment payment mode user id shipping address shipping charges subtotal and this uh, detail okay so i'll add this to i'll just get the date time not now to some bd mm why 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 in this pattern i'll get it okay and updated on will be same okay so these are the records now i have got the first record in this detail okay now apart from this uh, there's a single entry being added in the customer orders because for one order there will be only one entry and here i am creating this i need one method to generate order id the order id will be a unique number with this uh, nine digit okay so here i'll have to create one method generate order id okay, here it's a simple method the uh, string is being returned and uh, i'm taking this render object a rend generator which is of system dot random and i'm creating of 0 to 1000 loop and i'm generating a random number with this prefix order id p and this eight di eight digit number so p followed by eight digit number then i'm checking whether that order id exists in the custom orders or not if that exists then i'm just coming out of this loop that means that order id does not exist so it's a unique and i'm returning that order id so this is a simple uh, random number generator 
and from here I get the order ID and assign it to this variable and here also I get the products I'm pulling all the products so these products so let me add this date time now here and here okay so I'm pulling the first record and that first record I'm getting the details about the order and inserting it in customer order now I need to have save the products for each that order so I have the I'm generating this order detail inside this loop so this cart item will contain suppose three objects three products are added to the cart then it will contain three of three items so it will loop through it will add all three records with all the order ID product ID product quantity price subtotal and this created order and updated on and then it will get the product selected product and it will subtract the stock for example the current or user has, there are 10 stock available and out of 10 user has placed order for 5 then those 5 will get subtracted and then it will the products table will also get updated with the new stock and finally after looping through all the items and all the products I'm saving the DB DB context save changes I'm calling to save the changes and in the response I'm sending this response dot message equal to order ID looks fine pretty simple logic insert the customer order single record and insert the order detail multiple records based on the number of products added to the cart and update the stock okay looks pretty simple simple logic nothing complex here now let's go back to the my, my card dot razor here in this checkout also it's a simple logic and we have already explained it so looks simple let me close all the tabs build the entire project build succeed and uh, let me check finally memory user i user service i have the checkout also okay so now let's update the let's run the project let me close the existing ones and let me put a breakpoint here in our controller let me put a breakpoint start so let me three records let's start from customer order and select star from order detail so I have three three tables here so let me add to cart the stock is 29 let me add one more let's go to here and uh, here if I see the I put the shipping address is India let's click on checkout if I click on checkout you will see that I am not logged in so it will not allow me to check out it will redirect me to the login page but here it will display the message note login register to place your order okay so let me log in and one two three four five okay now it has logged in me successfully now if I go here on my cart then it will show me that uh, displayed items and whatever data I have filled here now if I check out then it will place the order let's click on checkout now it has called the API and let's see what is there in it the first record contains all the information like payment mode price shipping address shipping charges if you see the second record it doesn't contain the shipping address and shipping charges because that is a single entry let's go to our go to implementation and put a breakpoint here okay so let's go and see here what happens we'll go the generator has generated a random number and the order ID which has been generated is P0 it's a unique nine digit number and it doesn't exist so break and that is a return we have the 
order ID and then we have the products we have three products then in the detail the first it has pulled the first record because first record contains the payment mode and all the single entries then it is filling all the details customer dot add everything looks fine till here then this this cart items will loop three two times because we have added two items in our cart and the quantity is one one if you see the current quantity from the product table we'll get to know like the stock is the stock is uh, 22 125 and 29 okay so let's see so it's placing all the details then the selected product is been pulled out if you see the stock is 29 now the stock is 28 that means quantity has been subtracted from here and I've updated it and same goes for another one then once the looping is done I'm out saving the changes and if I now see the table let's see I have the custom for customer ID 2 that is John I have the order ID cash on delivery India 100 subtotal total shipping status that will be updated later on and the created on and updated on date then I see this order ID P0939562 same order ID is there for two products okay so and the product id and the quantity price subtotal and the same thing okay and if you see here it has been reduced from 29 to 28 and 22 to 21 okay so the order has been placed successfully now let's continue and let's see what happens okay well, let's go in our let me delete all the breakpoints and let on home again the same okay i think the order didn't redirect to our page so let me open this my cart not razor let me put a breakpoint here okay and let's go to this my account okay so let me clear this and add again to the cart this time three items and uh, let me mint it to India. Mumbai India and check out okay see let me see the response the response is not null let's click on continue okay so here you can see the cart has become empty now and user has been redirected to the my account okay so you can see now if you see the table the quantity has also reduced and the, there's a new order with new order number and three entries for three products okay so this for customer id2 we have two orders both are cash on delivery with different shipping address and different total and all these things okay so this way we have seen the entire checkout process now the cart is empty i can log out and then see again okay so this was it the stock has also been updated here and this has also changed and this has also changed now in our next video we will be seeing how uh, we can display the entire things in the user account so that user can once the order is placed user can see all the details what what he has purchased and what is the order number and all those details in his account okay so let's see that in our next video see you in the next video